will have a track on him. And you see they're playing quickly. Option towards the boundary. Bell's in trouble. Insane play by Rashawn and Gary here to shut down the speed option pretty much single-handedly. So he, he comes down the line a little bit because the offensive linemen are releasing upfield. So he comes down the line with his eyes in the backfield. Uh, he notices right about now that it's a speed option play. So he takes a good angle down the line here. I want you to take note of the angle that Rashawn Gary actually takes here when he notices it's an option play. Instead of just going down the line here, he attacks this quarterback. In doing so, he forces the quarterback to make a decision. Now that the quarterback has made this decision to pitch the ball, he's going to change his angle a bit downfield to ensure he can try to get outside leverage uh, on the running back since he is behind the play. Running back saw Mattel is coming down, so he turns back. Probably didn't expect to see Rashawn right there. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, Rashawn Gary does a really good job of recovering, wrapping up, and making the play. Um, as far as anyone else on the play, uh, this tackle does get out on Bush. So, Bush does have to bubble around. Eventually, he does get to the play, uh, but a little late. Metellus really quickly diagnoses the play. He's got his eyes in the backfield right now. And he, he takes a really good angle to the outside uh, that kind of halts the running back. Um, besides that, I mean, you know, this is pretty much Gary and Metellus. So notice the angle that uh, Metellus is taking here. As soon as the running back receives the ball right now, he's stopping because he notices he's lost the outside leverage uh, on this play. So he tries to cut up field, and Gary's right here. Um, you know, if Gary weren't there, you got Bush coming through, you got Monet flowing, and then you got uh, Winovich late. So uh, overall, good coverage and just an insane play by Rashawn Gary. First and 10, Nebraska. Nice. Oh, he Tipped missed it. into the air. Could it be? Yeah. Huge, huge play from Lawrence Marshall here. So let's first look at the routes from uh, from Nebraska. We got a little bubble action going here. So the guy in the slot's running a uh, running a bubble, and this outside receiver is running a block. Um, also, I'm not sure about this formation. All three of these guys look like they're off the line of scrimmage, as does the tackle. I won't get into that, but. Uh, Anyways, that's just a brief aside. Uh, this inside receiver is running a slant. Um, Michigan is uh, only sending these four down linemen. You'll notice after the play begins that both Bush and Gill uh, come up initially off of this run action that you see in the backfield. I think it's an RPO. I can't say for sure. A key movement here is Glasgow also being sucked up. So let's watch the action of the play here. So right now you see this mesh point. You can see Martinez is looking directly at Glasgow. And I think this is RPO because he's reading, is this guy being sucked up? If he is, then this route is going to be wide open across the middle. Since Glasgow does go upfield, uh, the slant is wide open. And that's what Martinez reads. Great, great play by Lawrence Marshall. I mean, you look at this wide receiver. He doesn't have anyone... <clears throat> excuse me, anyone to deal with if he, if he would catch that ball, and it looks like it's an on-target ball. Glasgow, I don't know why he's way up here instead of guarding the route. Um, I'm guessing this is something that Nebraska saw on film. But regardless, great play by Lawrence Marshall. Uh, I guess a turnover for Michigan's first defensive possession. Pressure off the edge and down goes. Blitz by Michigan, Glasgow gets a sack. Let's look at the routes for... Uh, Nebraska real quick on the outside you got a fade in the slot you have this sort of uh, slant clear out and he's eventually going to put a block on uh, Levert Hill tight end is kind of running a similar uh, pattern as the slot back I think his job is to get downfield and try to get a block on Kinnell and all these routes are to kind of clear the field, get backside blocks for this front side action. You have this running back out of the backfield running this bubble route. And you can already see the eyes for this defender on Devin Bush. His job is to get up field and to perform this kind of pick route on Bush. Bush, you know, he is reading this running back. He's going to try to intercept this bubble route. So what he's going to do is he has to bubble around this route. Uh, he actually does a good job. Let's move forward here. So you notice Martinez's eyes are right here. And notice how this wide receiver, he puts a hand out trying to block Bush. Bush does a good job of getting around the play or getting around the player and shutting it down. 
uh, for the pass rush. You got Gary lining up really wide. He's going on the outside here. Duel 4 has a really important job here. He wants to cross the face of these two defenders. Now, Gary and Duel 4, they are taking up three offensive line f- linemen for Nebraska. That allows these three rushers for Michigan, Glasgow, Winovich, and Ross. Ross is actually going to hesitate for a second. That gives time for Duel 4 to actually execute this and occupy these two offensive linemen. And then Ross will blitz this A gap. What this does is... Ross occupies this offensive guard. This tackle's in a really tough position. He has to choose between Winovich or Glasgow. He doesn't do a good job. Glasgow gets a free run, and Winovich is getting there late. So good play design and good job. Receiving yards coming into today's game. Maurice Washington is in the backfield. And look at that defensive. Nebraska runs a screen, and Devin Bush shows why he's a future first-round pick. Um, not a bad job blocking. I mean, it's a screen pass, but Michigan's only rushing four. Nebraska does well enough to uh, hold off the rush just long enough for uh, running back to leak out and Martinez to get it to him. So, you know, decent pressure, but it's a screen pass, so they're supposed to allow pressure. Um, notice that Devin Bush, I mean, this play is made by Devin Bush. Notice his eyes are on uh, the running back here. Um, he takes a step up here and he kind of plants his feet. He's watching this play action. Um, once he notices the, uh, running back leaking out, he starts to flow with this running back. As soon as he recognizes the throw, he, uh, he beats these blocks with just incredible straight line speed. Uh, and again, it, it shows why he's a projected first round pick because not many linebackers have that level of speed. On a screen. So, insane play by Devin Bush. Uh, it's all him. That Don and I were talking about. Let's see how they handle it. Pretty well. Nebraska tries to run a screen. Mattel shuts it down pretty well. Uh, Michigan rushes five. You got Hutchinson, Dwum four, Marshall, and Gary kind of slanting down to the right here. And then you're going to have Glasgow coming off the edge. Um, this works pretty well. All the offensive linemen for. Uh, Nebraska kind of go with this slant from Michigan and pick up the uh, the blocks there. This running back does a good job to notice Glasgow on the edge and gets a pretty good block uh, to stop Glasgow from getting to the quarterback here. Notice he went low on him. So, you know, pretty clean pocket for Martinez, but it is a quick pass. So, um, you know, it's going to happen. I don't know what the actual job of these wide receivers are. So these two outermost wide receivers – uh, both run kind of towards Hill. They're kind of lackadaisical. This innermost wide receiver does the same thing before he comes back for the screen pass from Martinez. Um, but these two wide receivers really kind of low effort. I don't know if this is how they're supposed to sell the play, but one just kind of runs into Levert Hill, and this guy doesn't do anything. So uh, not sure exactly uh, what they're supposed to do there. But um, Metellus does a good job keeping his eyes inside. He, uh, you know, starts to follow this route kind of by this outside wide receiver, um, but he keeps his eyes inside. Once he notices kind of this wide receiver going back towards the play and Martinez looking over here, uh, Metellus begins to reroute towards the screen play. So good recognition from Metellus and then really good job to get a, a pass break up here on the screen play. So good job overall. Uh, not a great play from Nebraska, though. But the players have to play. Uh, Ten penalties last oh. week. Blitz again, Martinez. In a... Empty set for Nebraska and a sack for Winovich. Uh, as far as the routes go for Nebraska, it's really hard to tell what these guys are doing uh, on the outside since uh, the camera angle isn't great. On the inside, you have uh, both this inside wide receiver and this slot receiver running slants. Michigan gets pretty lucky here. You'll notice right about here, David Long trips and starts to fall. Looks like he does grab the jersey of the receiver. Obviously, at this point, Martinez is already have his back face to the play. Should this have gotten called? Maybe, uh, but it didn't, so. Um, Looks like a defensive line. You have Chase Winovich on the edge rush uh, and Kemp uh, kind of going across the face of the center and right guard on this left side. So what this does, this occupies, obviously, this right tackle has to deal with Winovich. And Kemp's job here is to occupy both the right guard and the center. Now what that does is that opens up this backside. You only have two uh, offensive linemen for Nebraska remaining to deal with these three rushers uh, for Michigan. So, uh, you know, good design here. 
Oh, let's move it forward here. And notice right now that Furbush did this a lot for Bush last year. He's kind of the fullback here. He opens up this lane since this left tackle obviously has to deal with pay. So given that Kemp does a good job here, Furbush clears the right, the left guard, and the left tackle has to deal with pay, we get a free path for Ross to the quarterback. Um, obviously, you'd like to see Ross pick up this uh, tackle here. He falls off, but Winovich... Uh, Winovich is here as well to to help out. So let's back up and see kind of how Winovich gets inside here. So it's right here. Winovich plants his left foot. That's going to force this tackle kind of to the outside because he's threatening a speed rush here. Uh, what he's actually doing, he's faking the outside and he's going to club uh, this inside shoulder of the offensive tackle. That opens up this path on the inside. So really good power move by Winovich there. Since Ross fell off, Winovich being right here forces Martinez to flow this way, which gives uh, a pass for Pay uh, to make a play as well. So, good job by Ross initially, and good job to clean up. You begin to wonder, this deluge coming from the Michigan defense, how much longer can you... Pretty pitiful job from Nebraska here. So let's look at the routes. Uh, all three in this bunch formation for Nebraska are running uh, pretty long developing routes, it looks like. I don't even see where their breaks are uh, by the time that uh, Martinez is sacked. Um, you see they all just kind of run these streaks and then at some point it looks like they're starting to make a cut now but Martinez is already in trouble so not good uh, Nebraska keeps seven blockers in to deal with three rushers for Michigan so um, you know you got these three initial rushers uh, Winovich I think that's Kemp and Pay. then you got Bush coming late uh, in this C gap I believe um, so you'll notice Nebraska, um, they have obviously the tackle on pay. And then the running back decides to help uh, with pay um, on this right side. For Kemp in the middle, the, uh, the, left, or the right guard and the center both decide uh, to block down on him. So combination of these two uh, really leaves this open lane for Bush. Uh, to get a free shot on Martinez. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's that's more just bad from Nebraska than good for Michigan, but sack is a sack is a sack. And it's as if they know what's coming out of the Nebraska playbook now. Nice call. Take to it to to it. Good Martinez play. Nebraska sets up the screen really well, actually. Uh, just unfortunate that Ian Hutchinson makes a hell of a play. Uh, so routes, you got this tight end on a crossing route. You have this slot receiver uh, going for a block on the second level. Then you have two these two wide receivers on the outside running clear out routes. And obviously you have the running back uh, coming out for the screen pass late. Um, as you'll see here, everyone actually does a pretty good job uh, in setting up this play. So you see this slot receiver gets a really nice block here on Devin Bush. Uh, this tight end successfully removed... Uh, remove Furbush from the play. You have these two linemen, the center and guard for Nebraska, out ready to, to block. And a lot of space for this running back to catch the ball and then move um, uh, from there. And then obviously unfortunate that the ball is here and not being thrown here. Uh, but that's just good play by Hutchinson. Uh, let's look at the defensive line. So Hutchinson, uh, you know, he's the one who makes the play. He's shooting this gap between the uh, center and guard here. Uh, I don't think the center and guard get a good enough chip on him here, but they are anxious to get to the second level on their blocks. I put this more on Martinez for not getting more loft on the ball. There's no excuse for this to not be lofted more uh, to the running back since there's, you know, there's a lot of space here. No one's threatening the play. No rush on getting him the ball. Uh, he throws it a little too direct, and that allows Hutchinson to make a play here. I don't actually agree with the call of the safety. Also great job by Hutchinson kind of forcing Martinez to catch the ball given he was tracking it in the air but Martinez is jumping from like the one yard line here um, I don't know how you can say that he establishes control and then that it's a safety given that he jumped from the one was in the air when he caught the ball and then chucked it before he landed on the ground I mean two points is two points but that's pretty shaky officiating if you ask me at home saying they're pouring it on. This is just the defense that they play. Yeah. And you're right. Great hit from Watson here on the attempted screen. Um, notice right away on the play that Watson initially will have his eyes here, but then he's going to shift uh, to the backfield real quick. 
So notice, boom, now he's looking right here. I think he probably notices uh, the slot back is, is on his way here and notices the quarterback turning towards, uh, towards him. So right here is when he sees the throwing motion uh, for Martinez going towards this wide receiver. And it, at this point, it's a uh, factor of whether, uh, whether Watson will beat this block or not. So Watson does well to get low here. He drives his shoulder kind of low to work through the block, works upfield, gets past that block, uh, and now he's squaring up ready for the tackle. So as soon as uh, this wide receiver turns around, Watson is right there, and it's a uh, beautiful form tackle. So great job by Watson, and it's really a nice stick. Uh, good job on working through the block to pick up a good play. He was salivating for an opportunity to go nice. up against this defense. There was a nice little toss out of the option, but look at the recovery. Speed option from Nebraska, and Devin Bush shows off his athleticism here. Uh, on top of the screen, all three wide receivers are kind of doing these outside routes to clear uh, the three defensive backs from Michigan. Uh, it works, and it leaves this uh, whole half of the field pretty open uh, for the speed option play. As you can see, they're all running the routes, and that uh, half of the field is completely empty. Um, you got the defensive line kind of all slanting down to uh, their left here and that's to f kind of free uh, Hudson on the edge. Uh, quarterback is reading Hudson though, uh, since it is a speed option. Since Hudson goes for the quarterback, uh, he pitches to the running back. Um, and, you know, this is where Devin Bush comes in. So notice how Bunch is uh, leaving the ball out here. I think Devin Bush is expecting the running back to do the uh, read option action here. Um, so that's a nice clever fake to get Devin Bush to kind of flow to his left as he's doing now. Instead, now he stopped. He's about to pitch the ball. You can see all of Devin Bush's momentum is this way. When he pitches the ball, uh, he needs to reroute to his left. It's a lot of distance for Devin Bush to make up here, especially against a running back. Uh, but he does insanely well to get there and limit it to two yards, so great play.